Hey everybody, this video is going to be about this Windows 10 machine that I just got. Now, um, there are a ton of videos online that talk about people not happy with Windows 10, Windows 8, and how to make it look like Windows 7. So I'm not the only one that's done a video like this, and if you don't want to watch my whole video and the 10 billion ads that I'm going to put on this video, then that's up to you. You know, that's okay. Um, I can deal with that. So, but if you want to watch it, please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. Um, a YouTube creator, so uh, making these videos and have, having everybody uh, do the thumbs up and like helps me out a lot. And uh, leave nice comments. I block the, me the mean comments, definitely. So I've got this Windows 10 machine. I have a 91-year-old neighbor, and she is moving into assisted living. And I went over there and bought some stuff she had there and offered to back up all her files for when she moved, all her uh, photos. And I, she ended up saying, take the machine. And she didn't want the photos backed up. But I backed them up anyway and gave them to her today on a DVD because she's going to be... She's not going to have these pictures anymore, and she's going to be living far away from everything that she knows. So uh, I got a computer. She got her files. She got some money from things I bought, and all is good. So I get home, and I plug this thing in, and I go, Windows 10. Yeah, I messed with a Windows 8 machine before. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just totally lost. Um, I am, I'm, I'll shut up in a minute. You know, I, my videos are long. This is going to be like a three-hour video. So, not the seven-minute videos that are out there that tell you how to do this right away. So, I used to have XP. I held on to it for a long time because I loved it. Didn't want to switch to Windows 7. Finally switched to Windows 7 because I needed to, to watch video, and I realized <clears throat> Windows 7 is better than XP. They made XP better in Windows 7, and they made things easier to do. So, I love Windows 7. This Windows 8, Windows 10, I don't understand what in the world they were doing or why they changed it. Or I just don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it. So I'm looking at this thing and I'm saying, I don't want to learn this thing. I used to fix uh, computers for people and clean out viruses. And this thing, she took it to Geek Squad about a month ago. Who knows how much she paid to have this thing worked on or what was wrong with it. It's got some uh, software they put in here. And then she ends up giving me the machine. So I'm more than happy to have it, but I'm looking at this a search bar here. What the heck is this search bar for? And there's something called Katana or Katana. I, what other stuff is wrong with this? Oh, why did that work now? Um, let's see. Um, let me go click on this thing. What the heck is What is this stuff? I have no idea what any of this junk is. So I know it's they're tiles, but I don't know what they are or why they're why they're here. So I want to go back to a, a, you know, this part I understand, but where's my drive C? And um, I don't understand all this junk. I don't know why it's here. And I don't want to learn why it's here. That's the whole thing. I don't want to learn. I don't want to deal with this stuff. I want a simple Windows 7. So if you're like me and you want a simple, window, win, a simple Windows 7 look, for your Windows 10 or Windows 8. There's a way to do it, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Like I said, there are a million other videos that will show you how to do it in nine seconds. I'm going to take about two hours to do it. Um, there's a program that you have to install, and I'm going to install it. I'm going to show you uh, what to search for in a minute. I'm going to install it. I'm not going to show the website because I don't want to have to deal with uh, legal issues of uh, copyright. So after I download the file, I'm going to plug this thing and download the file. And then I'll show you how you install it and what you need to do and how you make the changes to, I think we're going to make a changes to the start menu and get rid of the search box over here and remove these tiles and um, the background. I think the background has already been done because it look, kind of looks like a, a normal Windows 7 background. But uh, I want to go for, let me get rid of this thing. Um, I don't want that. I want to go with... Uh, uh, Windows 7 background. Maybe I can do that easily. I probably can with personalize. And then I want to get rid of this weird box over here and go with a real Windows 7 start button. So let me download the thing and I'll be back. This is what's going to save us from all these problems. It's called the Classic Shell. And you download it from a website called ClassicShell.net or ClassicShell.net 
slash downloads. So we're going to install this program. It's a free program, has not been supported in a few years. They, don't, they have not updated it. I'm just going to install everything that's in here right now. And I'm going to show you how to use it, ready to install. I'm going to show you how to use it, how to set up your um, desktop. What do we have here? Verified publisher, hard drive, see I'm used to Windows 7, not this 10. So you want to install a classic shell, do the setup. Once that's done, we are going to continue. Complete, so it's pretty easy. You can uncheck the README uh, box unless you want it to open up. I think it's gonna, I think the program will open up. It should have opened up. I guess it doesn't open up. Does it put anything on the desktop? Puts nothing on the desktop. Um, oh, wow. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Let me click cancel. So what I did is I went down to this little button down here. You see over here. Little uh, button over here. I'm going to click on that and we're going to get the classic shell. It's going to come out, but it didn't come up. Now, before I continue, this has already been set up, so we have the two, the Windows 7 two columns, and we also have the Windows 7 um, kind of a background, but we're still going to run the program and do some changes. Double click on there and it didn't give me what I wanted to. I don't know why. So I'm gonna what I want to do is I want to go to this button over here and go to this bu bottom button. I guess that's the, the uh, start button. And I'll double click it. it. Doesn't like it. I'm gonna right click it. I'm gonna left click settings and then we're gonna get the settings for classic start menu 4.3.1. This is the start of changing everything. And a lot of videos, they show you how to undo what you did. If you want to undo what you did, just go backwards and uncheck everything, and you'll, uh, there's a reset thing, and you go back to the Windows uh, 8 or 10, but I'm not really going to do that. So we've got the classic with two columns. Um, we have the Windows 7 style. We have the classic with two columns. Um, I want Windows 7, and this is check for Windows 7. So I am going to click OK. Um, in a minute, I want to replace the Start button. Let's see, do we have any? Well, that, this is the old like XP down here. This one is, uh, this is the old XP type button. Arrow, let's see, I, some websites offer you the custom Let's see if this already has it built in. It does not have it built in. And I have no idea where it would be. So we're going to cancel out on that. And we're just going to go with the arrow because that's what I want. Oh, well, we have advanced button options. Let's see what we get by advanced button options. Uh, replace start button. Show all on, on all tasks. That's definitely what I want to do. What's the backup? No, okay. So we're going to go here. And we can see down on the bottom right now, we've already changed the, the menu, uh, the start button to an arrow button. And if you don't like that, I don't really like it, but I don't really care at this point. So I'm going to stick with that right now, and let's see what else we can do with this program. We're going to go back to settings. And what are some other options? If you got the time, you want to go through all these other menus, see what, what you can do, what changes you can make. Good for you. Um, taskbar. Taskbar, opacity, I don't care about that. Windows 10 settings, open Windows start menu on monitor with the mouse. Customize start menu. Um, I don't really care about that now, but these are the things that are available. Context menu, um, enable right click, yes, enable new folders, yes, enable Windows Explorer, sounds, I'm not interested in that, languages, I already have English, um, skins, let's see, show icon frames, I can change all that later if I want to, menu look, 
Um, small icon sizes, I might make that bigger. Uh, but I'll leave it alone for now. Main menu. So these are the options that you've got for this program. Search box. Show search box. I don't like this search box down there. It's, it's annoying to me. I don't know why the heck they put that in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to click no search box. And you can see that box is over there. You can see I click no search box. I'm going to click OK and let's see if we get rid of the search box. Hey, what the heck happened here? Didn't get rid of my search box. I'm not happy. Settings. No search box. Something's not right. I'm not happy. I'm sure why my search box is still there. I don't know what uh, was done to this machine, but I want to change the background. So I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to right click the background. I'm going to go to personalize and wait for that to pop up. And then over here, I want to click on background. And normally, if you had, if you down, if you looked online, you'd be able to find the Windows 7 background might have the uh, Windows 7 logo on there. This doesn't have it in the options. I don't really care to have the Windows 7 logo. Um, if you want to go search for that online, go for it. If you don't really care, uh, click on, left click on the background thing and just go to a solid color. Which I, me personally, I think a solid color just looks nicer. Yeah, it looks really nice. I like that. Um, you don't want it too dark. You also don't want it too bright. If you start going to really bright colors, the glare on your eyes is just terrible. So, I mean, this, is, this looks beautiful, but it's really bad glare. When you go to bold colors like this, uh, the purples, makes it much harder to see. I kind of like like a bluish. That's a little bright. Um, a bluish, greenish. This is very nice. It's bright enough to give me a good color, but uh, not so bright that it's going to bother my eyes. So I'm going to keep that. That's checked. Now I'm going to close this out and we have a nice beautiful background color. So we're almost done. Still going to try to figure out the search box in a minute. I'm going to do that again. We're going to go on the desktop, right click, go to personalize. Wait for it to pop up. We're going to go to colors. Now I think it's already been done on this machine. There's my color over there. This is a completely different uh, setting than um, one of the other versions. Let's see, Transpar transparency effects on. You want that so that you can see the things through the taskbar. Um, start taskbar and actions show accent colors on the following surfaces. Is that going to do anything that I want? Look at the bottom. That's off. So the, bot the taskbar is gray. Now I'm going to click uh, start task and action and it's going to turn it to blue. Title bars and borders. Let's click on that. Default app mode, light, related settings. So I'm going to leave it at that, and we're almost finished with modifying this so that it looks like uh, Windows 7. I just clicked on, see, I just clicked on the start button over there, and now I've got my two buttons, just like you would have on Windows 7. And I've got the start, uh, restart, lock menu. I've got the all programs like you would have on Windows 7. So we're almost done. Hey, we're almost done. Take the mouse, go down to the taskbar. Now, I don't really, well, I'm not sure if I like that color. Let me go back up, right click on settings, and see if I want to change that um, taskbar color or not. Where was that? Okay, so the search box over there, I did no search box, but that didn't get rid of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the bar over here. We're going to right click. We're going to go up to Katana. We're going to click hidden, and this box should disappear, hopefully. Good. <coughs> so we're really looking like a Windows 7 machine now, even though it's Windows 10 spying on you and doing all that stuff that you don't want it to do. And I think I'm pretty happy with this. 
I'm going to look and see if I can find a Windows 7 thing instead of the shell, the arrow shell over there. I'm going to do a search on the internet and try to find a different start button so that I can go in there instead of the arrow button so that I can go in there and do a browse, a custom button. So I'll be back. Let's go on Google, do a search on Windows 7 Classic uh, Start Button. Um, I'm going to see if this is going to work. I'm going to click on Custom. Okay, that didn't give me button look, custom button, button image. I'm going to go over here. I just saved the file to the desktop. So let's go to the desktop and see if we have it. There it is, Windows 7 logo. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is for the the uh, button or the, uh, the background, but it said Windows 7 Classic button. So let's look down on the bottom over here. And then we'll click OK. Let me zoom on in there. And if this works, then we're pretty much done. Whoa, that's a little too, <laughs> that's a little too big. Whoops! I found a zip file on, uh, with the Google search and gives me these different options. Windows Start button, extra large, thick taskbar, uh, thin taskbar at the bottom, start button, thick taskbar, thin taskbar, thick taskbar, thin taskbar, so I don't know what the difference is, extra large, large, and medium, and it depends on the thickness of your taskbar, and then the Windows Start button, small, so I'm going to try a few of these and figure out which one I need. I'm kind of worried. I don't really know if this is going to work. I'm going to go back to the start button, right click, go to settings, going to go over here what we did before, going to click over to this thing. I save the file in downloads, start buttons, uh, windows, extra large, no. Uh, let's just try the taskbar. I don't know if the, I guess the taskbar is a thick taskbar. Windows Start button, medium, thick taskbar. And I don't know why it's got three of these things unless it's going to be putting them in different locations. So let's look down at the bottom and see what happens. We'll click there, and that's exactly what I wanted. There it is. So you get the Windows taskbar. Start. The Windows taskbar looks good. The Start button is done. The Katana search box is gone. I'm going to close this for a minute. We have the... Um, the background is, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm okay. I don't really need that Windows logo. I don't need to advertise it. I like this bluish gray. And I've got my um, menu stuff over there. And then if I want to, I can go in there. Uh, I can go down to the Start button down here, just like you would with a regular Windows 7 machine. Move the mouse down there. Left click. I've got my two menus, this PC control panel, so it all looks, it, it looks like a Windows 7 machine. You don't want some of this junk in here, go in there and delete it, sticky notes, maps, people, feedback hub, I don't need any of that stuff over there, so I'll take out most of that. Um, so that's how you do a conversion to make Windows 7, I mean Windows 10 or Windows 8, you can do this on Windows 8, they've got the same shell out there uh, to do this on. Uh, to, to make your Windows 7, I mean your Windows 8 and your Windows 10 look like a Windows 7. Or, I had an elderly person who had a Windows 8 machine, couldn't figure anything out, had no idea what was going on, was completely lost. And I went in there and I set this up with the same shell menu and set it up like a Windows XP, Windows 7 machine, and she was able to use the computer with no problem. So, I know the video was long, hope, it's probably like two hours by now. Uh, do a thumbs up, subscribe, like. It definitely helps me out as a creator. Don't leave any bad comments. I delete them and report them. I don't need that stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a ton of ads on there. I make my videos. It helps me out a little bit. Uh, whatever money I get, I go and donate it and give it to people and help them out. So it, it all turns out to be a good thing. Hopefully the video helped you out. Make sure you watch my channel. I got a ton of other videos that go on for hours and hours. Lots of reviews. Lots of cool stuff. I do a lot of reviews of Amazon products. And, um, hey, that's it. Good luck making your machine work. Ooh, we just ran out of a, a, a focus over there. Oops. Bye.